Hey everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're feeling fantastic and ready to delve into some intriguing topics with me today. I want to apologize for any drop in subscribers recently, as I'm aware that some of you may prefer a different narrator. However, I'm committed to delivering the best content I can, and I hope you'll continue to stick with me on this journey. Also, I want to clarify that I purposely repeat this opening every time to ensure that new viewers feel welcomed and not confused about the nature of this channel. I believe that creating a familiar and consistent introduction helps to establish a connection with my audience and build a sense of community among us. On this channel, we love to explore the mysteries of our world and uncover the secrets of the past and beyond. I've spent countless hours researching and exploring various sources, and I've made some incredible discoveries that will challenge your understanding of history. Be sure to check out the description box for even more fascinating topics that you won't want to miss. While my video quality may not be the best, I assure you that the content is well worth your time. Some may accuse me of revisiting old ideas, but I believe that it's important to question the narratives that have been spoon-fed to us and explore all possibilities. To stay updated on exclusive content, be sure to join my Telegram channel and don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel just in case of any unforeseen events. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Take a look at this. A news from NDTV.com, Japan discovers 7,000 new unknown islands after fresh survey since 1987. The nation currently comprises 6,852 islands, but that figure dates back to a 1987 study conducted by the Japan Coast Guard. A fresh survey of Japan's territorial waters has led to the discovery of 7,000 new unknown islands in the country. After the Japanese government's first official survey of its territorial waters since 1987, the official number of Japan's islands is expected to double from 6,852 to 1,425, with the addition of 7,272 new islands, according to a report by Fox News. I mean, come on, brother. You didn't discover it. You knew it was there. But only now it is being presented to the public. Google Earth pretty much wipes the oceans completely with the color blue. I wouldn't be surprised if entire continents are hidden, let alone the Antarctic Circle. It's like reading a book, but three quarters of the text is censored, and the pages aren't numbered. Do you know how many no-fly zones are out there? No swimming zones, no walking zones? They only allow you to go where they want you to go. There's more land out there. Before I continue the video, please give it a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Thank you. History is a complete... Zhuge Liang from China in the mid-200s used a floating lantern as a military signal. 150 years later, the Mongolfia brothers in France figured out how to fly a person with the same technology. Regardless of societal distance, it is completely unreasonable to believe that this technological advancement required over 1,000 years to develop. Our historical knowledge is incomplete. Apparently, Zhuge Liang, nor anyone else at the time, ever thought of creating a bigger version of his floating lantern to put people in. It would be insane to believe such an absurd story. Air travel was rampant before the 1780s, and the Montgolfier brothers were not the first to put people in flying machines by a long shot. We already live in a metaverse. If you have seen Ready Player One, Spielberg 2018, you know what is a metaverse. It is a world where you can change almost anything in a jiffy. Your hairstyle, your own shape and size, gender, dress, personality. You can walk into different kinds of worlds, underwater in space. You can become anything, a sportsman, a mountaineer, Hulk, whatever. Metaverse is a range of possibilities beyond the physical laws that govern our world. Most importantly, it is make-believe. But what about our actual world? 
It is made of rules by the parasites who squeeze us to feed off of the negative energies. Most people accept this concocted reality by the parasites as a given, not questioning. Those of us who question, even we have to do a job, make profits, get salary. So, are we not already living in a metaverse made by the parasites willy-nilly? Your thoughts? Who is an NPC? An NPC is one who goes through the motions, who does as told. He simply repeats what was on primetime telly. He simply leaps towards the latest gadgets and then mortgages his attention on the device. Social media tells him what to think, and he does so, self-satisfied, even cocky that he is on the right path. Any idea that contradicts his worldview, he simply rejects. Media even teaches him how to deal with those who contradict the mainstream view, those who use logic. Media teaches him trolling techniques, how to call such people names such as conspiracy theorist, how to deflect the issue with whataboutery, how to emote mock anger and exit the situation, how to laugh at the idiocy of the truthers and make everything into a joke. This is an NPC whose worldview is, in fact, injected into their mind by the Parasite TV. What do you think? Who is a PC? NPC means non-playing character. The concept came from computer gaming, where the player is on a kill spree, LOL, as enemy characters attack him. As he moves inside the game, there are characters who are around but not really participating in the game. They are the NPCs. Imagine in a movie, the hero walks in to meet the villain, in his office. As he walks in, he greets the receptionist who is an NPC because she does not participate in the hero-villain conflict, which is the crux of the movie script. Now then, who is a PC? Non-NPC, if you will. It would be a person who looks around and detects the systems at work, who discerns how parasites have devised the systems to squeeze us, to keep us confined in small spaces, to keep us in shallowness, to engage in trivialities. So the PC would then turn to timeless wisdom, secrets embedded in nature. They would discover Tartaria. What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it valuable and informative, please show your support by liking and sharing it with your friends and family. Together, we can spread awareness and make a positive impact on the world. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope the information shared here was useful and insightful for you. Until next time.